So uh, the first time I heard about Marcelo was when I went to ADCC in 2005. One of my dad's friends, my dad's first instructor was fighting and he got us uh, VIP passes and we got really good seats, like front row seats to the ADC. And I saw the fight with Marcelo and Rico Rodriguez. It was probably like the most uh, important or like the most seen fight of the day. And it, I was like 12 years old and it blew my mind. Like what happened, seeing like, cause he was very small compared to him. So it looked like as if I was fighting a guy like Rico Rodriguez, like a little kid fighting him. And he got slammed by a monster. And, kept going after it and took his heel off and like 10 seconds after he got slammed and like almost knocked out it was pretty crazy but I was very excited to finally train with him for the first time especially Nogi because I don't train a lot of Nogi and he's like the Nogi master so I wanted to try a bunch of funky stuff and see how it went uh right here he's in a single leg x which is one of his top positions. He felt really comfortable there, so I didn't want to really test a lot out. I went for the guillotine that he showed in the seminar, and he quickly reversed it right in a half guard. Now, here in half guard, he, he drops his hip and smashes your leg so well. Like, his hip pressure is different than anyone I've ever felt. Uh, and he's always looking to turn that corner around your back. So I started attacking the Kimura, before he, he fully took my back, I started to kind of give him my back so I would be ready for it. And I have wrist control right here. I'm trying to find his elbow so I can grab my own wrist. Now I got it, and he, he was defending very well here, but I had his uh, wrist with my right hand, and I had his elbow hooked with my left arm, like a kimura, but it was loose. The and he had a- The left knee making a difference? That left knee was pushing down my shoulder so I couldn't hook his elbow but I ended up switching because he had a bear hug. So I switched to the other side. I switched to the other arm as he took my back. Now I have his other arm really deep and I'm trying to bridge out. He has a hook in. I'm, trying to, I'm gonna try to bridge out of that hook so I can lay down on my left side to be able to put a, sh uh, a little bit more pressure on his bear hug. He has really good butterfly hooks here. With, whether he has hooks over your legs or under your legs, it still feels like he has total back control. It's not like he has to have that hook over your leg. So now you have this elbow locked with your right arm, don't you? Yeah. I'm trying to bridge out so that I can lean over all the way to my other side. Now I can put a little bit more pressure with my hip to keep more of his top arm right there, his right arm. He's being relentless with that bear hug grip though he comes up to mount and I've never seen somebody defend like this he pushed my elbow down with his knee to slide it off your to elbow. slide it off yeah and then he came I tried to switch again to the other arm so he doesn't take my back and then he backed off and we had a reset mm -hmm. that was the guillotine that he did and right to the single at the seminar right to the single leg same thing that happened in the beginning of the match I tried to do a little brambolo to his back and he saw it coming like a mile away. Now he's in my closed guard and I try to open up a little bit to see what his go-to was for um, closed guard. And he goes straight into that half guard with his hip drop down. His hip pressure is, is phenomenal in half guard. It's ridiculous. It was very fun. Very fun to get to train with him.